Good morning. Happy Friday. Sorry, guys, I got to take a sip of my shake here. Um, so we're going to start our day with gratitude like we do every other day of our lives, Sunday to Sunday, something that you are grateful for, throw it in the chat or unmute and say it out loud for the last 24 to 36 hours. I know I'm grateful that I finally bit the bullet and went maternity clothes shopping. So I will no longer be living in yoga pants because apparently that's not kosher for new moms. But I love my yoga pants. So I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. Um, Sky, what is something that you are grateful for for the last 24 to 36 hours? I am grateful for my upcoming long weekend here. I am grateful that I got to take a bath the other day. Now, I still had to keep one foot up out of the bathtub, but I am still grateful about it. So, and I had some new bubble bath and it was amazing. So that's what I'm grateful for. Uh, yeah. So those who don't know, Sky had surgery um, two weeks ago, Thursday, and she's still recovering and not taking it very well. It's true. Her, um, Haley is grateful for getting time off with her kiddos. Uh, I hope you did something fun with that. Haley, like that would be the best. Having some winter break time with the kiddos. Jessica is grateful for no matter how much lack of support she has at home. I will always be my biggest own supporter. Jamie, same thing, being able to have time off with the kiddos. Aw, you guys, like, I can't wait to, actually, I kind of can wait, because that means my child's in school, and it's been five years, so I don't know if I'm ready for that. Can we just have the baby first? Kayla, what is something that you are grateful for today, or last night? I know you got a new phone, so I don't know if you're up, it's, you know, where the unmute button is. Mm -hmm. All right, so if Kayla is able to unmute, she will unmute here momentarily. If not, we're going to jump right into our Vibe Tribe news. So this baby gives me the hiccups every time we go to do this, you guys. Jesus. Oh, I didn't know you were All talking right. to me. <laughs> yes, okay. something okay. you're grateful for. Something I am grateful for. I am grateful for... Uh, 2022 to be over I'm a grateful for new beginnings and I'm grateful for um I'm grateful for my room that I'm sleeping in right now that I just woke <laughs> up <got> from <laughs> but I think I'm most grateful right now for um just time having the time with the family and stuff like that over the last couple of days I think it's, it's been really great for the most part <laughs> well that's the main thing is family and time right all right, so Vibe Tribe News. Let's try this again. Let's hope the baby doesn't get hiccups again. All right, so have you all been watching your emails? Because Ultimate Driver was announced. The uh, launching date and registration date has been announced. It was January 2nd to, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, the 5th. I am sitting this season out. However, that does not mean that I'm not going to be participating some way, shape, or form. Um, I'm still going to be cheering people on. And my customers and my team actually have are creating a chat where everyone's going to be sharing high-protein, like low-carb recipes and all of that kind of stuff. We're looking at doing that again this year because it really helped everyone last year. Um, also... This morning, if you did not check your emails, it is time. We, they have re-launched uh, by um, Tag Team BOGO. So you and your bestie or your spouse or anybody on your downline can order buy one month or buy any product as long as it's 160 US dollar and get the other half of it free. So easiest way to explain this is buy one month Buy this and get the second free for you and your bestie. Okay. Again, 
I have a spouse who has an account. So like, I'm trying my hardest not to order on mine and his right now. Cause the last time I did this, I ended up with what? Six, $400 kits. I think it was guy, something ridiculous. It was really bad. You guys, like it was very bad. Was that, was Bogo the last time that I ended up with like crap ton of promoter kits? It was because like Nick ordered and you ordered and nobody spoke to each other. It is what it is. Not my fault. He sees a good deal. He shops and then doesn't, it, it's an issue that we're resolving. Okay. It's been 10 years in the making guys. Bear with us on that one. Um, also in Vibe Tribe news, the January Thrive Vibe Tribe bingo card will be announced and dropped on January 1st. We are working tirelessly to finish that in the next 48 hours. So bear with us, you guys. Now, again, we want to remind everybody that doing this, the winners will be chosen in February. The winners will have to show proof. So what we are suggesting now is while you guys are doing the bingo card, the things that take five or 10 items or five or 10 things are the same thing, screenshot it as you do it. That way you have the proof there and you're not scrambling trying to find it in your history. Okay, make a pick collage, get pick collage, it's a free app. You can throw everything into it. We are super excited for you guys to see all of what we've done and all of our hard work. Um, because you guys, this is how we all grow. These bingo cards is how people grow and change their businesses. Um, so Kayla said, you can create a folder in your phone and uh, keep your phone organized. I really need to do that. Like as an organized person, my phone is definitely not organized, but I will work on that. That is a goal for 2023. Um, I am new to all of this. Okay, so um, good question, Haley. So I'm going to pull it up on my computer one, but bear with me a second. I didn't have the app open. Kayla, explain what a bingo is, please, while I find the card. So you're going to get a card that looks similar to like a bingo card if you've ever played bingo, like in a hall or at a baby shower. Um, it's going to be pretty much similar to that, um, but each square is going to have a task, and ultimately your goal is to um, complete the card. So if you've ever played a full card bingo, the goal is to get as much of your card as filled as you possibly can, um, and it's just all um, IPAs, income producing activities, so it'll help you grow. No matter if you win or win or not, we're all going to win if you put in the effort to, sorry, my toddler in the background having a moment. Um, but yeah, if you, there's all these different activities and they're all income producing activities. So no matter if you win or lose the grand scheme of it all, as long as you're putting in a solid, like mindful effort, you are going to reap the benefits. And if you consistently do these things, um, it's a great way to kind of start, especially if you're new, it's a great way to start to realize like what's gonna help you um, grow and what's gonna, um, what works for you and what doesn't in the end, right? In the long run. And throughout the whole thing, if anyone has questions, you guys let us know, like get in our inboxes. Um, I know there's a lot of wording on the bingo card. So a 10, 10 good morning vibe tribe Zooms. Even if you just screenshot that you are on the Zoom in the morning, that counts. A chicken list write out your chicken list. A chicken list is just a list of people that you were scared to announce Thrive to. Honestly, that's all it is. Five, 10 people. Go live with another Thriver. It's super easy. Just find another Thriver, inbox them and say, hey, I want to go live. Can you share your story if you're new? Um, if they're in here a long time, like a good chunk of us Vibe Thrivers are, we can give tips on how amazing Thrive is. Um, we, could, like, we could like do a moment in all of our vibe tribes or we could like pose for our screenshot for yeah, the <laughs> give us a heads up because there's been some very bad screenshots do, like a moment yeah at the very end there's like a moment where we where we pose for the screenshot <laughs> guy is very great at getting those random ones where i'm hiccuping or like i'm in mid-sentence and my mouth's like Bleh. it's it's not pretty so let's like do the vibe tribes like screenshot first thing in the morning when everyone's happy and smiling 
um, help two customers thrive for free. Again, if you're new and you don't know how to do this stuff, you guys just message us. You have a whole month. Go live in your stories 10 times. As long as you're screenshotting that, you're good. Send out 10 samples of any product. If you do not have product on hand, reach out to somebody, an upline, a sideline sister. All of us have a crap ton of product on hand. This is just the bingo card. Um, building relationships. This one right here is going to be your biggest one to do because you have to build relationships. Um, compliment messages for thrivers that inspire you. Submit your story to the Lavelle fan base fan page. If this is your first, let's say six, six weeks in, your story may just be, I tried it to do this because I heard it does this. And then you're going to grow from that. So you're just going to keep growing with the bingo card. And as you're doing it, just take screenshots of it and throw it in a file on your phone. That way, when it comes time to do the draws, we can organize. You have everything and you're not scrambling for it, right? Um, also, in the month of January, I know my team and Sky's team. Well, the, right, Haley, every person is different. Um, it's 100% different. It's totally set on what you have done. Like, I wasn't sure if like you were new, new or like thrive as a customer and then decided to biz because a lot of us have done that, myself included. Um, so, you know, just try to be ready for it. If that's the only thing we're suggesting for the bingo card is just to try. Um, also, something else that some people are doing um, the Monday to Friday, Monday to Sunday bingo cards that were built forever ago. I don't even know how old they are any anymore, but they're income producing activities. People have decided that they want to keep doing those, use those to grow their businesses. If you don't have them, I believe they're on every Thrive page possible. If not, I can forward them all to you because I have them on every device that I own. Um, so that is, I believe, anyone else got anything else for Vibe Tribe News? Guy, Kayla? Nothing. I think that was it, eh? Yep. Oh, um, so starting January 1st, if you send credits to a customer or another promoter, you have to personally keep track of that. It is no longer available in our back office and it is no longer support will no longer just be like, oh, you send credits to these people. So get yourselves a notebook, write down who you send credits to and who you have, like how many credits you sent them and their account number. Yes, absolutely. And just to like uh, piggyback on that, like why you would want to do that is like aside from tax purposes and stuff, like if you, I've had people where I've sent them like $20 in credits because they were going to order. And then like, I hear back from them a few hours later, they're like, no, I just couldn't. Like, you're going to need those numbers, like that customer number and their name to email support and pull those credits back. So you're going to want to keep track of those credits for sure. I thought I was muted again. Dang it. Um, yeah, so just keep that in mind, you guys. Um, one other handy little note um, tip. I know in Sonia's team and Kayla knows what I'm talking about. <sighs> Your five-star notebook. If you do not know what a five-star notebook is, let me quickly explain. It's got your potentials list. It's got your customers list. It's got your promoters list. It's got your self-development as well as your personal plans and how you're going to do what you're going to do in the future. It's super easy, super amazing, and keeps you on track. Okay? Super simple. Um, also, those of us that have been in here a hot minute, they have relaunched the bot. Um, now, for those that are new and don't know what a bot, the bot is, the bot is a messenger tool that... Oh, yep. Um, potentials, customers, promoters, self-development, and your plan and like if you have ideas for your business to grow, you put it in there. Um, so the bot, um, in case nobody, in case I know Haley, you're new. Um, yeah, go for it.
And if you have a five star notebook, seriously? Huh. Yeah, you know, the five star notebooks we used to use back in school and things like that. The five yeah. star brand. Yeah, I've got those. three of them sitting over on my other desk. Yeah, they have a study notebook now where in a free app that correlates with it. So when you write your notes down on the page, you scan one of the QR codes, it automatically puts it into the app, and it's kind of like the board's app. It is incredible. It is like one of the best things I have found for my business recently, um, and even for my homeschooling. Um, so, and it separates it, and you can um, separate it into like as many different sections color-coded. Um, you can have sections for notes, potentials, customers, chicken lists, credits, everything it, it, yeah and the book is the notebook's only like three or four bucks depending on where you buy it i found mine at walmart but it's incredible and the app is completely free and Kim, send us a picture it. of what the book on the notebook looks like on the front of the page like the main part of the notebook got you i'm on it because <laughs> now i need to go shopping Gah! why did you tell me this nick's gonna hate me sky do not tell nick <clears throat> I won't tell Nick, but you know, if you do, um, if you are like keeping a notebook or whatever, you know, I would suggest writing in pencil so that you can like, you know, erase one of those customers and move it over to promoter if you need to, or, yeah. you know, move your chicken list over to promoter or customer or whatever. So yeah, pencil, like guys stock up on pencils. It will help if you're doing a notebook. Um, so I was talking about the bot. So the bot is a, a thing that Lavelle May uses. Um, I think Ma Maria Dillard implemented it forever ago. Don't quote me on that because I can't 100% remember. It's been a hot minute since I used the bot. But what it does is basically it becomes, it puts you as the customer or you as the potential promoter. And then it asks you questions and gives you guys, gives everyone verbiage on how to seal deals and do that kind of thing. So if you do not know what it is, um, I did send it out to my team. If you need me to send it to you, just IM me on Facebook today. Give a girl a chance to get to the messages. Don't blow me up, please. But we will try to get it out. Um, we will also share it in all the pages as well, again, just to bump it up. Um, so yeah, we'll bump that up. Um, planning. So we're going to jump into the topic because we've already started that topic. Planning 2023. Now, guys, we need the, we need the smart goals that we talked about on the 19th, as well as dream goals. So what we are talking is how we are planning to grow our businesses. So everyone knows to do VIP. We need two promoters. Okay backtrack because there's now VIP 400. So at the beginning of every month, you want to start at zero because that's what we all start at. You want to do VIP 400. So one customer, one promoter. VIP 800, you double it. 1600, you double it. So it now becomes three promoters, three customers. Okay, to get 16. If somebody, if my math is wrong, somebody correct me because I believe it's still free. Nobody's correcting me. Cool. Then from there, you just need to get one more promoter, one more customer, and you're going to help these custom these promoters get VIP themselves. Thank you. Um, so you then need to double that. If you guys stick to the basics and stick to, you know, what works, don't reinvent the wheel. You hear so many people say, do not reinvent the wheel because it works. Kaylee Krupp, Sonia Lemoyne, Steffi G. So many leaders will tell you they do the same thing that we all do. Okay. They share and share and share. They're growing their businesses the proper way. So. Then you just want to plan that. So you know, as a 12K, you need 
four active promoters. And I think it's five or six customers active, okay, that order regularly on auto ship to get 12K. It's not rocket science, you guys. So uh, for my team, and I know Sky might be using it too, we have added, did daily bingo cards. So the, like the card we showed you at the beginning of the Zoom that are daily for Sunday, to, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There's a card for every day of the week. Those cards have income producing activities that are known to work to grow your businesses. So how do we know this stuff works? We have millionaires. We have 200 Ks who use the exact same things we are. So if you're like, I can't do this this year, guys, it's time to stop. It's time to check yourself. It's time to work on that self-development and kick the negative Nelly out of your life, okay? I'm four and a half months pregnant and I'm still doing this every day, okay? I get up in the morning, I still do my stories, I still do everything I have to do and I'm still gonna do it when the baby's here. So we can and we will, exactly, Jamie. So many people say, oh, well, I fall off. You can fall off, but find somebody to link arms with and be like, I need to hold, be held accountable to be put back on the wagon. If Sky doesn't hear from me by 7 a.m. my time, 5 a.m. her time, she starts blowing up my phone. Mindset, mindset, mindset. Yep. Find somebody who can be your other person who holds you to the standard that you want to be held. Sky knows my dream for 2023. My husband knows my dream for 2023. And my team know my dream for 2023. And you want to know something funny? Three people on my team told me that they don't see that dream coming true. And I had to laugh because obviously they don't know what it means to me to have that dream. Okay. Sky, what is something you are doing for 2023 so I can drink? You know, I'm going to focus honestly on adding friends. Um, you know, definitely posting my reels every day. Um, you know, I just need to do more income producing activities each day. Like I just need to set a time, you know, to set a timer and work for 20 minutes on, you know, any one of them, because like my days tend to be very, very busy. You know, I work full time, you know, plus like I have a household, daycare, puppies, like lots of it. So, you know, kind of fitting that into my nooks and crannies. Like I just want to increase doing my daily IPAs because I feel like I could do more. So, you know. But consistency, consistency, consistency. Kayla, what's something you're doing in 2023? Oh, I was in the wrong screen. I was like, where's my screen? Where's my Zoom? I can hear you. We need to get you a new like, a phone that you know how to use. Oh my gosh. I'm like, all my apps are on my phone. So I've been back and forth on both phones. So for 2023, okay. So let me tell you a funny story. So uh, last year, um, I'll be totally transparent. My head was not in the game at all last year. It was just a really um, personally, like emotional year, a lot going on. Anyway, so I, I was so determined to try last year that I went to the dollar store and I grabbed myself one of those, um, organizers like the the book calendars the organizers um so I was so like excited that I did this and I'm like I'm gonna be so good at this it's gonna be good I'm gonna get back on track I'm gonna actually use this thing because I never do when I got home the freaking thing was in French it was entirely French the whole thing was French and I was like how did I not see this when I was buying this at the dollar store right four dollars down the drain so I was like well, at least I know what the days of the week are, but you know what? I, I just, it was enough to like, little thing was enough to like knock me down. So I was just kind of in my head. Hey, eh? so this year I went to the dollar store and I got a really cute one. It's a nice blue one. It's completely in English. <laughs> so, um, like I said earlier, when I did my gratitude, we just recently did our, um, 
a room downstairs because we were we had the babies in the room with us for like almost four years my oldest or my oldest of the two youngest will be four in April so we've had two babies a year apart so they've been in the room with us since they were born um so we just got the room so I brought my desk upstairs which I need to actually organize like over this weekend and uh, my I got everything here I found my ring light I've just I'm getting myself organized so I can do more lives because I really found when I was doing my lives consistently, I was reaching people on a level that was just that you don't realize you can reach people. When people saw me talking and being real in the mornings with my family and getting excited and all this stuff, then they were all of a sudden, they were, you know, they wanted to gravitate towards me. They wanted to talk to me. Um, They wanted to build relationships with me because I was positive and energized and it was something that they just weren't, right? So for me, I'm getting back into my lives. I'm getting back into being consistent because when I did... When I did this, this is what worked. This is what earned me my 4K bonus. This is things that like, these are things that I know work because I've proven that they have worked. But because I had gotten into my head and I stopped doing the do, they started faltering because I haven't been doing them. So for me, it's all about just getting back into my feed and being visible and being seen, um, being relatable. I'm going to get my face on my lives. I'm going to interview my friends. I'm going to do my TikToks and, and I'm going to be like super fabulous in my lives. I got a ring light now. So it's going to be exciting. So for me, it's about building relationships and building um, my presence on social media. Uh, I don't like this new update. I'm just going to say that right now. And that's exactly it, you guys. Getting back to the basics, going back to what we know works. So, and I, again, being transparent as Kayla's being here. In 2022, (laughs) I came in here with an attitude that nothing was going to stop me, that I was going to get my goal. But then my husband moved home. Then I had to finish my education. Then I had to move home myself. Then we have a 90 year old woman that we're helping care for my grandmother or in-law. You know, my mother-in-law moved home to Nova Scotia. Everything took place in 2022. We found out we were pregnant. Let me tell you, that was the biggest one. And I'm super excited for that, but like it, it knocks you down. And I used to share quotes and tips on marriage all the time because people ask me all the time, how do you and Nick have such a strong marriage? How do you not want to strangle him 24 seven? Well, y'all don't know behind the scenes, honestly, because if you ask Sky, she's going to tell you right now, I probably have said, Sky, you're going to be a witness to murder here like five times this week alone. So, but I used to share stuff like that and be honest and be real and be like, you need to be able to take time with just your spouse. You need to have that. You know, when we were engaged and planning a wedding, we were asking tons of questions on Facebook and getting lots of interaction. Now, yes, okay, a lot of my stuff's around baby and questions about baby and people give opinions. But being a new mom is not going to change who I am in my dream. So I know that I have Sky support. I know I have my husband's support. And I know not everyone has the support of a spouse. But the support from the group and from your fellow thrivers on days that you are struggling is when you need to reach out to us. I can tell you this until you're, I'm blue in the face that other thrivers will support you no matter what you're doing and what you're going through. But until you reach out and find that, and that's on you. And my biggest goal for you guys in 2023 is that you reach out when you need us. You know, you want to attend all these Zooms. You guys want us to host all these Zooms. But are you putting everything that you're learning into action by asking for help first? You need to ask for help when you need it. Don't think you're alone. Don't think that, oh, I can't make a business post because I don't have the auto bonus. Dude, share somebody else's auto bonus post about how that car caddy in their driveway 
is free. My SUV that I love and why I got white leather seats in, I will never know. I don't pay for because the company pays for it. Now, do, do I regret my decision to get white leather seats? Yes. Now the baby is on its way. Yes, I'm regretting that even more, but that's okay. I'm getting seat covers. You guys can share other people's stories and that is what the Thrive community is about. You may not be a 4K, but you know that people hit that 4K rank advancement bonus who that changed their lives. Kayla, what did that rank advancement bonus do for your family? I know what it did because I reached out to her and asked her. Kayla, go for it. When when I hit that, to be honest, it was like so much more. Like when I hit that rank bonus, it was an accomplishment within me that was just um, truly amazing. I think for me, even like beyond the financials, like don't get me wrong, it was freaking awesome. Like we were able to get some stuff together to go camping. It's been a thing that we really, really like to do as a family. And I have, a, I have four kids. So it, it's, it was a lot. It was leading up to like being able to actually have things and start things. But for me, the most rewarding thing to when I accomplished that was like, holy crap, I did it. And like, I, if they, someone said mindset, 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 it awakened, like it, it, it awakened something in me that made me realize, like, I just did this. I can do this. And I have, I've just, someone else said something about not having a supportive partner. I can relate to that as well, because my, my boyfriend is, um, he does his own vitamins. Like I call him my trader, right? He does his own vitamins. They're not as good as ours because he gets them over the counter. He's good at PMA by lunchtime, but that's besides the point. But I knew in my heart that I've done this and I could do this. And no matter what anyone tells me, no matter if they should support me and they don't, I'm not going to let that drag me down because I've done this. I hit that bonus. It awakened something. Even in my worst doubtful moments, I know that I freaking hit that bonus and it was amazing. And I was capable and I could do it because I've done it. So no matter what anyone says to me, whether they think that my lives are a waste of time or doing these TikToks are just foolish because they're not even thrive related. That's not how social media works. Whatever. Again, beside the point the point of the matter is I knew I could do it and I refuse no matter I could get in my own way I do that a lot I'm very good at that okay my brain and my brain and my voice in my brain like they, sometimes they don't get along because hello anxiety and depression <laughs> but, but but when it comes to the outside world I've no longer allowed outward um, contributors to dictate my abilities as a thrive promoter and rome wasn't built in a day that's what we need to remember rome wasn't built in a day but when it was finished it was freaking beautiful it is freaking beautiful right it wasn't built in a day but when it was done it's freaking beautiful so you need to kind of have patience and have that grace because this is like a this is a business that you don't do overnight nobody starts a business what are you wanted to franchise a mcdonald's no matter what business you start you are not going to be uh, you are not going to see me in the green within the first few few days, in the first month, in the first year sometimes. You know, sometimes it might take time to grow. Um, but when you build it, even when it takes time to grow, you're, what you're growing is sustainable. What you're growing is going to keep you growing, right? And it's it's so hard to see that sometimes when you're just starting off because you get that honeymoon stage when you're a promoter and then when things start to get a bit difficult the two three months in that's when you see people start to fall off the wagon and that is the most crucial time you need to remain consistent that is the time that the people that don't believe in you are going to say ha ha told you so because when it got hard you bailed you can't bail when it's hard. That's when it's the most rewarding. You need to follow the course, go through the storms, go through the hurdles, go through the mountains, because then you'll get into the valleys, then you'll get into the summer breeze and the beautiful sound of music, you know, areas, and things will work out really great. But you need to stay the course, no matter what anyone says. Don't let anyone dictate that. I had to say that because I've seen that in the comments and I could relate. So, yeah. I, that's why <laughs> of course. I told you to unmute. That is why I told you to unmute. Um, also something else, you guys. So I hit 4K 
and I'm being transparent, I hit 4K in 31 days. Notice how I said 31 days. When you come in as a VIP, you have 30 days. If you hit your VIP in 30 days, back when I came in, it was an iPad. Now it's Maui Gems. Okay, I hit 4K in 31 days. Gotta love time change, gotta love Canadian time zones, whatever you wanna call it. I didn't lose hope. I kept pushing. Then a year later to the day, I hit 12K. A year later after I hit 4K, I hit 12K. After I had to rebuild my whole team. After I had to rebuild so much because I lost so much. So we are all relatable. We have all been at back at the beginning. We've all lost. Most of us have lost half of our teams. But you have to remember that when you are looking at planning 2023 or you are looking at how you're going to plan 20, uh, January of 2023 and how you're looking at ending that month, even if you hit $2,000 in sales and you haven't made $2,000 in sales in two months, that alone is a goal, okay? If your goal for February after you hit $2,000 in sales in January is going to be hit 4K in February, those little stepping stones are how you plan your year. I can tell you this because that was me. I was there not that long ago, you guys. Now I'm pushing for a very big rank and Sky and again, my husband and those who know, know. And 2023 is gonna watch out because I'm coming back with a vengeance and <laughs> Sky's already going, Lord, be wed ready because nobody's ready for what's gonna come. And I want you guys to know that no matter what happens, if you hit 4K and then you lose it again, that is okay. If you have an unsupportive sp spouse and they're like, oh, you're not thriving for free. You're not worthy of anything. You shouldn't even be doing it. Well, send them my way. I've got broad enough shoulders and I'm pregnant and have no filter. Ask my husband and ask Sky. It won't end well for them. And for the spouse that won't try thrive or says that it doesn't work, double doggy dare them a three-day sample and take away their coffee and energy drinks and watch what happens. Hand them five bottles of water and see what happens. Uh, I would talk to your doctor, Erica, about taking Activate While Pregnant. My doc, my OB said no. Um, I'm allowed to take my capsules, my shakes, and my patches, as well as uncaffeinated thirst. So just check that with your doctor. If you have a spouse who is like skeptical, double doggy dare them to do it. Because I can tell you right now, no man wants to be dub double doggy dared to do anything or spouse. How do you think I got my husband on? <laughs> right? Jamie, I am right there. I double doggy dared my husband to do it too. And let me tell you, he's caffeine sensitive. If my husband is taking capsules, he is taking one women's capsule a day. He is now on gummies because he loves the gummies. And if y'all have ever seen my stories, you'll know that Nick is very, he has to have two of the same color gummy. So when he's at the bottom and there's like one or one yellow and one green, like, go save Anthony. 
Happy New Year, Kayla. Go save the husband. Have fun. Oh, that's when you like literally, oh, girl, don't even. <laughs> Sky, you're not wrong. So you guys, I can only tell you so much and how to do this. And we can only guide you to do what you need to do. But I could tell you, if you have a calendar, just even a basic wall calendar, and you write 2K on the bottom at the end of January and circle it and put a star by it, that will help you push that goal. The goals that you have, one goal that I always, always, always challenge myself with, and I still do it to this day, Sky, don't even go there. We're not, having, we're not arguing about this right now. From the 1st to the 15th, I challenge myself every month to get 10 samples of any of my Thrive products out the door. Maybe it's sleep gummies. Maybe it is the three steps. Maybe it is uh, Pink Pro. Maybe it's Thirst. Maybe it's Activate. Whatever it is, I challenge myself 10 samples out the door. So that's 10 customer accounts, three customer accounts that have people with orders, like product coming in hand. Do all 10 of those people order? No, but, but they do get to try that product as well as magically they start getting emails from corporate about BOGO, about detox, about Ultimate Thriver, about all the other things that Thrive does. I've had two customers turn promoter because they heard about Thrive Palooza and the Thrive Lifestyle Getaways from the email. Getting those free customer accounts will change your business because then they start seeing the emails. So you guys try something new. If you have any questions about the upcoming bingo card that we will be launching soon, we will be sharing it on the second or the first. Is it my notes? I think it's the first. Um, you know, use those tasks that are on the bingo cards that you see, you know, to help you grow your business. Don't be scared to get into another Thriver's inbox and be like, hey, how did you do this? Every Thriver will help you in some way. Sky, do you have any other closing words? I do not. Why? Why do you do this to me? So you guys, all of those that have stuck with us through 2022, the Vibe Tribe team, thank you. And we are so proud of you. Those that are just coming back or just coming, we are excited to show you guys what 2023 has in store for us. <laughs> the puppies are out, are they? Um, so we have lots to come. We have some amazing, amazing hosts in January, February, and March. And we're going to leave it at that, you guys. Thank you for sticking with us for 2022 through all the ups and downs. We'll see you in 2023 on January 2nd with some pretty amazing hosts coming. Those that are live, stay live. Those that are uh, catching the replay, we'll catch on the second.